Hey, what's going on guys? It's Archer Mark here. I'm back with another video and another haul video for you. Uh, all I had the other haul video. This is items that I didn't get in the store, but I got from a couple of different online retailers. Uh, the packages all kind of came all together, which is which is kind of cool. Uh, so I just I'll get to this just a few, couple of items. I'll get to this first. This is cool. I've been waiting for this for a while. Uh, it's a company called Entertainment Earth, which is a great online store. And they send out a uh, catalog mailer as well. And they have stuff, uh, Star Wars, movie items, TV, pop, anything pop culture, sci-fi, superhero stuff, cool stuff. But uh, this is something that uh, kept getting delayed and delayed uh, from the manufacturer. Uh, you know, my all-time favorite movie is Aliens, and this is uh, an Aliens bottle opener, or a, a bottle opener that's in the shape of the Colonial Marines uh, pulse rifle. And I thought it was really cool. I'll just show you. Cool little box art there. And, you know, you get the alien eggs and the pulse rifle, the movie logo. The Aliens pulse rifle bottle opener. Uh, the most important weapon in a Colonial Marines arsenal, the Pulse Rifle Bottle Opener, is a 3.5 inch of solid metal alloy, uh, and the rifle stock can remove 60 bottle caps in little under a minute. Two magnets will keep this essential tool handy on any refrigerated door or armored personnel carrier. Uh, 20th Century Fox logo and uh, cool stuff. So, uh, neat little box. Here is the, the metal bottle opener. So I just had to have this. There's the little magnets. The only thing is, I wish there was something that you could where you could fit this on, like a key ring, so I could keep it a little mobile, just hook it on. Uh, but that's gonna be very cool. I'll look forward to using that. So that's Entertainment Earth, and then the other package that came, uh, which was from uh, Amazon.com. Um, you're looking at the figures like this. You could obviously you could tell what figures are. I tried to film this, but I've been having some technical difficulties with my with my camera here. Just something that had to get slightly fixed. Um, nothing major. So I tried to do this uh, with the box when when the box first came and take the figures out one at a time. You know, in their packaging, their individual packaging, uh, which I still have the boxes because uh, I'm sure I'll do reviews on all these. Uh, but I finally got, I'll show first, uh, I got the Marvel Legends Black Cat figure from the Amazing Spider-Man 2 wave. I've been wanting to get this figure for a while. I, I really love this character. And it's, it's a character I would love to see in a Spider-Man movie. Uh, she goes for a decent amount. You know, I, these figures were all on an Amazon wish list. And I like to do that because like, you can you can uh, keep checking every once in a while uh, on the prices and wait for them to come down. Uh, so I got this about $28 and you know I that was a good price that was a good price for me uh, considering this figure at New York Comic Con was various vendors wanted like 35 to 40 dollars uh, for this figure, so I felt this was good enough. She's very tough to to come because I've never seen her like in an actual physical store. So I was happy getting this. Um, sh we'll probably do a review on her. Not sure. Uh, going on to the other three figures, all Star Wars related. Finally got my hands on the Jedi Luke from the Six Inch Black series. Uh, really liking this figure. And then he was only about a, when you consider tax and everything, um, he was only about a dollar or so more than retail, which, you know, I was fine to pay. I wanted to really get this guy. Still haven't found him at any of the Walgreens or any other retailers that they're supposed to be hitting. But uh, so I'm, as a big Luke fan, I had to get this figure. And. Finally got my hands on the Stormtrooper. Still haven't gotten my hands on the Sand Trooper yet, but 
I'm sure that will come in time again. I waited for these to go down, and I got these. Uh, when I ordered these on Amazon, they were $17.99, which is a, a dollar or two lower than retail. So that's definitely a good price. So I figured while I'm at it, while they're at their price, let me snag two of them. They'll look cool uh, flanking uh, the Darth Vader figure. And they'll definitely look great on display. Um, so I picked those up. And uh, I'll, I'll look forward to reviewing these figures for it. Definitely going to review the Luke. And I'll review the Stormtrooper. And hopefully one day I'll have the Sand Trooper. But it'll be nice to have the good basic Stormtroopers. I'm very happy. And so reviews on those will be coming. And I will probably review the Black Cat figures. I'm very impressed with this figure for the most part uh, so far. So I'll probably review her as well and definitely review those. So that, that's pretty much it. That's my haul video from my, my couple packages from uh, Amazon.com and Entertainment Earth. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with Amazon, but Inter Entertainment Earth is a great online retail store. You guys should definitely check them out. Pretty much like anything you could think of, any movie or TV show, whatever. They probably have something from that movie or TV show. So definitely check them out if you haven't heard of them before. Uh, so there you go. Just a few items just from a couple uh, boxes, a couple orders that I I uh, sent away for. And it's just, they happen to come all at the same time. So I could put them together in one big uh, video for you. So there you go. Just a few items again. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And until my next video... May the force be with you.